What's up everybody, it's Knife Life 777 coming to you today with another knife. Today we have an offering from Civivi, a subsidiary of Wii Knives, basically Wii Budget Knives. Um, this is the CV Insight liner lock with the gold foil clear resin carbon fiber which is absolutely stunning look at that oh and it is Damascus as well top it all off let's start out with the box So you pretty much standard CVV box, like they all come in. And then this is inside the box. Standard CVV zipper pouch. Comes with silica gel. Your CVV slash Wii stickers. Paperwork, instructions, maintenance, warranty information, your Civivi cleaning cloth, very nice, and the knife comes in the standard Wii slash Civivi bag. Oh, and apparently there's two uh, silica gels in this one. Yeah, so these have been coming with this stuff ever since uh, I can remember. I had a Praxis when when they first came out, and basically had all that except for the stickers. So Beautiful knife, excellent action. Super smooth. And it has gold foil. Now I don't know if that's actual gold. I mean, it looks like it. Maybe just really thin foil. And the price on this knife is excellent because if you think about it, if you get a pair of scales like this from a custom scale builder, they're going to cost more than this knife costs in itself. This knife goes on Blade HQ for $99. Of course, it is sold out. Um, but, yeah, $99, I mean, I have a knife here with similar scales, my, uh, Shaman, and it has these gold carbon fiber scales, and these scales were, uh, $129, I believe it was, just for the scales. Now, you have this whole knife here for $99. That's just, that's quite amazing. Civivi is killing it. So, let's get some specs. We have an overall length of 8.46 inches. Blade length, 3.7 inches. Cutting edge, 3.375 inches. I had to make do some of my own measurements because um, 
some of these measurements were off. Uh, we have a blade width of one and a quarter inches, 1.25. We have a blade thickness of 0.12 inches or three millimeter. Um, it is a Damascus blade with 5961 Rockwell hardness. It is a drop point flat ground plain edge. Handle length 4.76. Handle width 1.125 inches. Handle thickness 0.55 inches. Uh, handle material black carbon fiber gold shred handles. Uh, we have stainless steel liners and liner lock. We have a weight of 4.3 ounces. Boom, 4.3 on the dot. Nice. And then, what we got next is, let me see here. We got a deep carry clip, right hand tip up only. There's no cutouts for lefties. And deployment is flipper tab only. So, let's get some size comparisons real quick. Here we have another CVV uh, with a Damascus blade. These two knives are very similar. Very similar. Um, the blade shapes are extremely similar. The, this is the Praxis. The Praxis has a little bit more belly on it and it's a little wider. This wedge is a little uh, wider on the Praxis as well. Jimping is longer on the uh, Insight. I hope that's what it's called. The in uh, I hope that's how you say it, Insight, not in CT or something crazy. I don't know, but yeah, <clears throat> I was holding these up to each other, uh, the blades and the stop pin. I'm pretty sure you can swap these blades out. I was going to do it, but I didn't want to ruin the hardware on this or risk ruining hardware if it's Loctite or anything. Because um, I was, because I resold this, uh, this one, so I didn't want to mess it up. I'm actually shipping it out today. So, okay, yeah. And... Like I already showed you, this is the Spider Co Shaman. Here we have the Benchmade uh, Super Freak 560 1 Freak. Here is the zero tolerance zero five six six in L Max. And last but certainly not least, the Spider Co Endura. This is the DLC coated with the Zombie, the Zone, or however you say it, uh, scales, scale pattern. And it's also going to dark. Love the Endura. 
So first thing I noticed taking this out of the package is obviously it's beauty. This knife is com um, very beautiful, very beautiful, and um, it's a looker. It's it's a sight to behold. Um, the, with the Damascus, very po uh, highly polished Damascus, and then that carbon fiber. I mean, just chunks of carbon in there. So basically, it's like a, a clear resin, and they just drop carbon in there and sprinkle in a little bit of the gold foil. It's not like your crisscross carbon fiber pattern, like something like this. It's kind of like crisscrossed. Or something like this. It's like woven. But this is more of... This is more of just like... Sealed in a, in a uh, epoxy almost. I guess you would say. And the Damascus. This is Civivi's proprietary Damascus. Um... I know it's 9CR18 MOV with uh, some other steel in there. Uh, they keep they tend to keep it um, under wraps, private, so that other companies don't get a hold of their uh, nicely done but cheap uh, and affordable enough Damascus. Um, I love the blade shape on here. You can see it kind of swoops down here. And then we have a nice wedge up top. And it comes to a fine point. It's pretty thin behind the edge. Pretty sharp. Um, it's not the sharpest thing I've ever had out of the box, but... Yeah, pretty sharp. Not bad, though. My uh, Praxis was sharper. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 100%. So, the smooth action... Um, is on steel cage ball bearings. Nothing super fancy. I mean, only for a hundred dollars, I mean, might not get uh, ceramic ball bearings. Um, we have Civivi's pivot. It has the logo on the front. I believe all of the Civivi knives have the same pivot. And then we have a T8 Torx on the back. Liner lock, we have about 25% lock up. Deep carry clip, I like Civivi's deep carry clip. I mean, it is very square, but it's not a big deal. Um, it's got holes in it to make it lighter or for and for aesthetics. Um, it's pretty springy. It's not too strong and it's not too light. And also, they recess it and re the clip. They recess the clip itself and they recess the screws, which is excellent on this one. And even if they don't recess the clip, the screws are still recessed, like on the Praxis. So, clip is done very well. Um, they have a partial G10 backspacer with this, uh, lanyard pin, I guess you would call it, kind of like a mini standoff, but yeah, I like that so that you're not putting a hole in this nice presentation carbon fiber, 
Um, but, I mean, I think the, the plain black partial backspacer is kind of, I don't know, I think they could have done a little bit better on the backspacer. I mean, that, that doesn't look like much, you know? They could have at least put put some jimping on there or made, like, a carbon fiber backspacer or something. I don't know. Or just left it open and put ni some nice standoffs here. Um, yeah. Or just even a little piece here for the lanyard and then just had standoffs. But, I mean, it's still all right. But I, I, um, that's just personal preference. But other than that, that's pretty much it. We have one, two body screws on each side, including the pivot. The screws are T8. Very nice. We have a decent detent. Can't really shake it out. Um, yeah, very good. Uh, I can't even shake it out off camera. I mean, I'm sure if I whacked it against something, I could break it out, but excellent detent. And it's not, it's not too hard to press the uh, um, flipper tab. So here we got the push but push button, and then we had the light switch. Let's see if I can fail it. Oh, close. Yeah. Nope. Detent is dialed in. Excellent. Yeah, I cannot fail it either. So, um, you can also, with the ridges on the uh, Damascus, you can also open it up, push your thumb against the blade, and flick it open, kind of like a thumb hole, but an invisible thumb hole. But yeah, I, I could do this on my Praxis too. So, that's just a little side trick. But yeah, that's about it. This is CV Insight. I got a lot more nice coming. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you soon. Peace.